One, two, three. I don't have any control over my body. I need somebody to help me with everything. I am 37 years old. Alrighty, and now we're going on ankle. Crack sound again. I've never been able to speak. This is what I imagine my voice would sound like. My whole life, people have treated me as if I don't have a brain. But I know I'm smart. <laughs> I rely on technology to communicate. This is how other people hear my voice. My name is Anthea Henry Hurst, and I have cerebral palsy. <laughs> All I can control is my head. It's how I operate the communication box and my wheelchair. I need to wait. Ready? This is my life. It's all I have ever known. I may never have fed myself or dressed myself, but I can still make choices. Track. The track one? Uh... Which one? Oh, this one? Okay. I wish I could do things myself, but Pinkish this is one? how things are. The purple? Caregivers ah. are just like my hands. Ready? Okay. Yeah! Right. Done? <coughs> shaky, shaky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A sip of drink. Uh -huh. I like things done in certain ways. Caregivers don't always think about what I want. This is the only body I've got. If I don't love it, who will? Like every girl, I dreamt of one day getting married. I was born normal. When I was three weeks old, doctors discovered I had cancer of the kidneys. On the operating table, I died three times. And bam. Cerebral palsy. I never even got to crawl. But my world changed when I was seven. They put me in a powered wheelchair for the first time. The chair had to be specially made, and they weren't really sure if it would work because it had to be head controlled. I could hardly lift my head. But I still remember the first time they let me control the chair by myself. It was one of the best days of my life. So when I was young, mum and dad sought out any therapy there was. I'm just gonna hold it there. I probably had an appointment every day. I had so many different types of therapy. That's right. We've been through these routines on the bed. I'm going to show you how she got into that position. Super. Anthea, can you lift your arms up or do something with your arms? Oh, well done. OK, now just move them around because that's part of it. For a while, I even walked for short distances with a frame. It was such a buzz being able to look people in the yeah, eye. You can see that's really good. And she likes it. 
just hold it there for a while, just pressure and hit the, As I got older, pressure. it hasn't been so easy. My cerebral palsy has gradually gotten worse, well, and I have a lot more bad, spasms. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> It really affected my confidence. Then I found Boccia, and it turns out I'm really good at it. Well, the game has improved because you now is getting the idea that it isn't just to get the ball close to the jack. She's thinking about all the consequences of the fact that she has to throw six balls. Boccia opened up my world and brought some unexpected people into my life. Oh, here's Trouble. Hi, Trouble. You missed me. <laughs> I had the CP attack, dearest. Evidence is there. You had a CP moment. <laughs> and you've cut yourself. This is why I drive your van. It stays in one piece. All right, go show me the damage. <laughs> How in the world did you take that door and hit that? It's like three metres apart. <laughs> well, from time to time, Hanthea just tends to have a CP attack, as we call it. And her mind, because she controls her wheelchair with her head, she'll just go full speed into whatever's in front of her. And as you can see, this has suffered damage today. <laughs> so they will have to get totally replaced. So I'll just have to work some longer hours. <laughs> You're a worry. The thing I love about him the most is Michael is so easy going and sensitive. If I need him, he's there, even if he's busy. Anthea to me is someone who's very warm, loving, caring, kind, always smiley, always laughing, always happy. There's never a sad, boring moment with her. I'd almost given up on getting an able-bodied boyfriend. I thought, stuff it, I may as well just go for a disabled guy when Michael came along. I wasn't expecting to meet him. We were both already dating other people. We met through being part of the international botcher team at the time. When I first met Michael, I thought to myself he's quite nice, but I didn't take any notice of him. I actually don't know if she saw me at first, but and I must have caught her eye somehow. He asked me for my email, and then we started messaging and emailing. We'd talk all day and night about stuff. As we got together more often for training camps, we just grew, grew fond of each other and really started to like each other, and our relationship grew from there. I wasn't sure what he wanted at the beginning, or if he would stay around. Yeah, in the beginning of the relationship, I, there was that moment where I sat down and thought, you know, do I want to be with Anthea with all this care, responsibility, and everything behind it? Or do I just close my eyes, take a leap of faith? But there was a strong connection there. I even would say the world had a plan for us all the long to bring us together. The 28th of March, 2011. We got married in Rarotonga. The most perfect day of my life. Ready? Comfortable? Michael always said he'd like to be my carer. He is such a devoted husband. Sometimes I can't believe how amazing he is. But I don't want him caring for me full time. I want him to have other things in life besides me. 
I want him to be around other people as well. I don't think it would be healthy for him to care for me full time. Oh, I know, I'm breaking it to you. Compared to most caregivers, Michael has a real advantage because he knows me so well. Is that better? She has a basic communication, yes, no, okay. And, you know, she says yes, she looks up. No, she shakes her head. See ya. And then the more time you spend with Anthea, at the end of the day, you hardly ever need her communication box. Just on the really bad days that I don't understand her, then I get her to type it, type it out. Give me a week. Yeah, give me a week. Yeah, give me a week. I need to be strapped into my chair because I have strong spasms. They can be scary because they throw my whole body around. Want me to zip you up? When you have your spasms. Let me set you back again. Right. You showed them who's boss. A spasm is an involuntary reaction of the muscle. It doesn't feel painful unless I hurt myself during it. And you wonder why you're always breaking your tears. All right, here comes your headrest. Click. Is that one in the right spot? I'm crazy about botcha. My dream is to represent New Zealand. Michael is my ramp assistant, and I think that gives me an advantage. We already have an unspoken communication. We make an awesome team. Right at the moment, Anthea's just trying to line up the ramp with the jack. And I just gotta listen to everything she says. She's the boss. <laughs> Botcha is difficult to describe. It's a bit like patonk. The aim is to roll six balls as close to the white target as possible. Ooh, nice. During a game, Michael is never allowed to turn around and look at the target. He has to concentrate solely on me, and I have to communicate where he should position the ramp. Head movement, eye movement. Tells me left, right, up, down. At the moment, she's looking at a ramp in the floor and telling me to move it over. And then moving to the ramp to the left. Just follow her, her head, really, to the right. Left a bit, left a bit, right a bit, left a bit. Fractionally to the right. And she's telling me to put the ramp down. And then up again. Down. Now she's just told me number four by looking up, which you don't actually have. Unfortunately, there's a time limit in Botcha. End of the day, it's a, it's a team thing. So it feels good when she wins, and I, I know I've done a good job. I really need to practice as much as I can, because coming up soon is the Oceania Boccia Championships in Sydney.
Your hair's going all wavy at the back where it's getting long again. Hi. Oh. Look at that, you might have curls. Look at it grow and get you some curls. Nah. <laughs> what I like most about myself is my eyes and my smile. So I guess with my hair, I'm always trying to make sure that it complements the rest of my face. Long hair is too difficult. I think women are pretty hard on themselves. We always wish we could change this or that. We want to be perfect. But if I could change anything, I'd wish I could speak. So did you holiday in Auckland? No. Did you go overseas again? No. OK. Beach. Just away, just you and Michael. Mmm, very nice. You like? I think she's naturally very beautiful, both inside and out. It's quite good. Don't give me that puppy-eyed look. So you're a lucky guy? I say that to her every day. She never believes me. It's special because we are soulmates. That's pretty true. We're soulmates. Even when I'm at work, you can still feel me. Michael works in a trophy shop just up the road. He works 40 hours a week, Monday to Friday, and he's really good at what he does. This is a trophy that we engraved for Lydia Co. North Shore good golfer she is. We actually do quite a few for her every year. It'd be good if Anthea wins a lot more trophies. You know, she's got over 40 medals already at home from all her botcha and various other things. So well, I hope she wins one really big trophy for, hopefully, for botcha. And then she'll bring it to me and she'll want me to put her name on it, so... Yeah. I love getting out of the house. I can't wait for the weekend when Michael and I can do fun things together. Now just remember there's water in front of you, so don't go flying into it, eh? <laughs> it's not that cold. Well, if you, if, you, if you start doing some star jumps, you'll be right. Oh, you're running me out off the road again. God. <laughs> Do you want to feed the ducks here? All right. But just remember, I can't stop you if you go in there. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strips to undo. OK, one for you. I said one, not three. One. One. Oh. These birds here. You want to break one up? Go like this. All right. And then you tell your hand. Yeah. Now yeah, break it up. <laughs> when you're ready. Are you stuck? Which way are you going? <laughs> hey, um, that's my foot. <laughs> well, I didn't know which way you were going. Ah, thanks for that. See, so now you got yourself stuck, didn't you? <laughs> Trust you to know, not know which way to go. Michael's not perfect. I know I can be clumsy sometimes, but he just keeps teasing me and teasing me. I just power walk back. Come on. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, it's a hill. Oh, what a shame. Make sure we got everything against.
I'm getting excited. Today we are going to Sydney to compete in the Oceania Boccia Championships. Hope that's everything. Are you sure? Once it's closed, it's closed. Good. <laughs> it's a long way to fly there. Yeah. <laughs> Travelling with me is never easy. We've got to take a lot of stuff. This is the biggest competition I've been to in seven years. The last was in Perth and I got fourth. Refreshed? Uh. You need to go? Uh. Just, just a minute. As a team, we've been a bit out of the loop when funding to support botcher development was cut. Hey boys, how's everybody feeling? Oh, this competition's pretty big. Um, we've got people from the Asian Pacific community like Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, China, and of course Australia, host country. Big team Australia has, and should be pretty tough. Well, be to, strategy will be to give it out, give it all, give it our beans. Play hard, play fair though, and just do the best we can. Hopefully, all this training's paid off for us. Are you warming up yet? Still cold. Still cold. I'm Michael. Michael, nice to meet you. This is a good hand. Yeah, it's good hand. All right. Oh, Ashley, hey, Ashley. That's, that's my wife, you? Anthea. What are you doing? The Mrs. S significant other, huh? I'm just trying to stay focused, visualise my plan of attack, because I'm up against Australia's best BC3 botcher player, Daniel Michael. He's only 18. I'm 37. I hear Australia is putting a lot of resources into developing him. He's only been playing for a year. And he has a flash as ramp, too. Well, for me, it's pretty hard because, of course, I can't look at the court, I can't talk to her, I can't do anything. If I want to know if it's a good game, sometimes she'll look at me and smile or look at me and shake her head. It was a good start, but Daniel is amazing. He's quick and accurate at setting up his shots. I'm getting worried. I've only got a certain amount of time to set up each shot. 30 seconds. I feel like I'm letting the Kiwis down. The coach wants to do a debrief about what happened. You're happy to do a debrief? First question, what did you think went well? How is your, were you happy? Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
I think we need to be faster because I'm worrying. Don't be worried that there's 30 seconds um, left because particularly because the ding, the, the score clocks make the sound, don't they, at a minute and 30 seconds? At least that gives you an indicator and it's not like, and so Mike knows, you know, you hear that sound, you know if it's in that last minute that you just need to pick up the pace a little bit. If it was a long end and you were playing the whole end at nine, I'd probably say, yeah, you know, just be really fast and deliberate in terms of having to get those extra extensions on. Mm. Um, but I think, you know, you're not losing too much time and at that short end, having 30 seconds is, yeah, I think you can feel comfortable about it. I'm always proud of her. Winning or losing, I'm always proud of her. She goes out there, does her best. It's intense. Well, you did some good shots then, eh? No, oh, that's good. That's good. You're happy with yourself. As long as you're happy, then I'm happy. She's honest and loving, caring, and warm and happy, and you know, you never really see her have a bad day, so. Win or lose Michael and I are an unbreakable team. <laughs>